I'm wondering if this has anything to do with the blue sky flashes that we've seen lately all over the world, especially the United States. Plasma waves are cooking electrons in Earth's magnetic shield. This is by Rafi Letzer on Life Science. Today's article, February 14. I'm wondering if this has anything to do with what the scientists have found of the mysterious flashes at the edge of Earth's atmosphere. Obviously, it has something to do with Earth's electronic, magnetic, electromagnetic shield. Uh, so perhaps this is what we're seeing now, lately, but uh, it seems to be on the increase. So what is this exactly? Plasma waves. Space is warm, or at least warmer than it should be, they say. All across the universe, including in our own solar system, astronomers have found that the near nearly empty spaces between the stars and galaxies and other matter contain more heat than existing knowledge can fully explain. So why is that? What's cooking this void? A new study conducted in space might offer the answer. Plasma waves banging into electrons is an unsolved mystery in physics. Those nearly empty places in our solar system do have some stuff in them. It's the plasma. This is what the uh, ancient Greeks knew of. They called it ether. And this is also what Nikola Tesla was telling us that was there, and that we could use the electricity in this plasma that fills up the whole void of the universe to get from one end of the universe to the other using free electricity in, that's found in the plasma. Now, those nearly empty places in our solar system do have stuff in them. There's solar wind, which consists of thin streams of charged particles like electrons, moving at super high velocities away from the sun. Then there's the loose plasma, a form of matter that's widely distributed throughout the universe and that often exists as a chaotic, turbulent state. This is what the ancient Greeks called this ether. But it's a well-kept secret for some reason. We have not been taught this in school, even though the ancient Greeks knew of it. Why is that? Now, scientists observed those electrons in the solar wind absorbing the energy of electromagnetic waves passing through the turbulent plasmas of Earth's magneto sheath. Once the energy was absorbed, it turned into heat. The magneto sheath is the region where Earth's electromagnetic field most directly meets the solar wind. It was an effect researchers had observed before in less complex situations on Earth but never in a chaotic turbulence of Earth orbit. Researchers found the effect in data from the Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission. That project includes four robotic spacecraft orbiting the Earth and measuring how our planet's electromagnetic field interacts with the Sun. In data from that extreme environment, researchers were able to tease out how energy in electromagnetic waves passes through the plasma turned into heat in the electrons. It was an effect never before seen in this sort of chaotic natural setting. For the effect to work, the electrons and waves had to be moving in similar speeds. Quote, the electric field associated with waves moving through the plasma can accelerate electrons moving with just the right speed along with the wave, analogous to a surfer catching a wave, end quote. Co-researcher Greg Hose of the University of Iowa said in a statement, adding energy to the electrons causes them to heat up. The researchers said that the results published Friday, 14th today that is, in the journal Nature Communications could help explain the universe's oddly high temperature. And their methods, they said, point the way forward to more detailed studies of how energy moves through plasmas in space. Okay, so they found that uh, the, it's odd that the universe has a higher temperature than they thought, but they're not telling us what temperature that is. What temperature is that exactly? Uh, because from what we understand, 
it's really, really freezing cold out there. So that would be nice to know what temperature it is. I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.